everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. My name's Kath and I'm one of the mums reviewing the Philips Pasta Maker. Here's the machine that I'm going to show you tonight how to make a simple dish, spaghetti and meatballs. It's a family favourite in ours, especially for our hungry teenagers. So what I've done earlier is I've prepared my meatballs. So there they are there, sitting on the bench waiting to be browned off. So for your meatballs, you can add anything to your mince. I usually use about 500 grams of mince. Tonight I've used one capsicum, three shallots, two celery stalks, an egg, and a cup of breadcrumb. I've mixed that up in my food processor for about 10 seconds, and then I've formed my meatballs. So I'm just gonna go off now and brown the meatballs. So to, instead of holding you up, I'll come back soon. All right, bye-bye. Hi, welcome back. So I've browned my meatballs, so just have a look at them. So there they are in my bowl, looking delicious, taste delicious. And now it's on to make my rich tomato sauce base for my meatballs. So what I'm gonna use now is these are my ingredients. So here we have some corn flour, some tomato soup, crushed tomatoes, anchovies, tomato paste, some red wine, and I'm going to use some stock. Now don't worry if you can't remember all these ingredients. I'm gonna have the recipe posted in the mouths of mum so you can easily look up how much I use. All right, so I'm gonna just pop all those ingredients in into my wok and let that simmer away. So I'll come back soon after I've finished doing that. Bye. Hello, welcome back. So here I've got my meatballs in bubbling and my nice red rich tomato sauce. So it's now onto the pasta. So here we go. So I've got everything set up. I've got my flour and my water ready. So it's quite simple. So simply just put in your flour, put your lid back on, adjust the cup at the top. So you can have one or two cups. I just need the one cup. And then it's pretty much press the play button and then we add our water. Just add your water on the top. And after about two to three minutes, our pasta is going to come out. So after our three minutes of kneading, now our pasta and spaghetti is going to be made. So you just simply just let it come out. Let it get to your desired length so you can make it any as long as you like or as short as you like. So I'm going to make some long spaghetti so I'm just going to cut it when it gets to about the plate and starts to curl around. So it's a simple, just slice it off. Okay, so the last couple of minutes, the rest of the pasta will be put back out and any little excesses will be gathered up and pushed through that last tiny bit so you make use of all the pasta in the machine. So we're just gonna wait for that pasta to catch and then we'll all be pushed through to finish making our spaghetti. Okay, so here we have it. After 10 minutes, our fresh spaghetti, ready for our nice salted boiling water. It's going to take about four to five minutes to cook. Okay, welcome back. So now everything's ready and it's ready to plate up. Our pasta's cooked, our meatballs are bubbling and ready. 
So it's time to serve. So just be creative as you like. So just try and create a bit of a nest there. And a nice big scoop of meatballs. Pop that on top. And some extra juice. And voila, meatballs and spaghetti.